that on the screen, buddy. There. I put the paint to. So we got. I mean, we got uh, paint Scratch at, from and, MIT. And the, uh, up. It's a block programming for young kids, and Sebastian's trying to the learn. By the green. And he's following the tutorial no. on building something. Uh, in this case, it looks like he's building Pong. Uh, a basic piece of the tutorial, as you can see. A great little tool for young kids. You? I want the paddle. Which paddle? I want the paddle. What paddle? Show me. A paddle. Where's the paddle? Oh, paddle. So let's spell paddle. How do you spell paddle? It's P A D. I have a paddle. I'll pick the paddle. I pick. I'll drag the paddle to the bottom. And I want the player. I take them. Mm -hmm. I move the paddle to the center. To be able to move the paddle side to side. But. What are we looking now for, Sebastian? By moving a mouth. The paddle to the center. To be able to move the paddle side to side. But... What are we looking now for, Sebastian? By moving a mouth. Uh oh, what did he click on? Ooh. Are we switching games now? You can use Scratch to make a palm game, bounce a ball, or something else. Wow, wow. And score points to me. Hit me. First, let's pick a backdrop. I'll pick this one. Let's choose an object to bounce around. I'll pick this ball. We can make the ball move with this block. Let's see what happens if we put it in a loop. Nice. Now, it seems to be stuck on the edge. Let's try adding this block, if on edge, bounce inside the loop. Okay, great. It's moving back and forth. Let's see if we can make it bounce at an angle. I'll make it point at an angle and start the code by clicking the green flag. Can we do that, Sebastian? Now, let's add another sprite that the player can use. So let's pause the video. So let's find let's find that forever loop. Where's the forever loop? Can we find that? Just to hit the ball. What? Nine. Okay. I'll drag the paddle to the bottom, and I want the player to be able to move the paddle side to side by moving the mouth. Okay, you gotta minimize the video. Take this lot. Okay. What's that? So, What's the next step? So we're following the tutorial here that uh, Seven, uh, Sebastian is trying to follow. Oh no, he moved it a little bit. Are we sure that's the right? Sorry, I was trying to help you. <laughs> so I'll make the paddle go across. So we're going to use, we got to find mouse X. Let's go find mouse X. It's under sc scaling. I think, is 
this. No, sensing. It's under sensing. Oops. Look for a mouse X right there, buddy. Right there. Oh, there you found it. Oh, yeah. Move that and put it in the circle. Not that one. Oh. Mou mouse X. I tried mouse X. There you go. Let's oh. put it in there. Okay, now. Mouse in it. Okay, good. Now. Cross the stage when the mouse moves. And now we're going to click on Loop Forever. So go to Events. I'll Loop Forever. Control. Oh, sorry, you can come back and back. <laughs> That's awesome. And then add the thing. And then what's next? Green. And the flag. add a green flag on top. All right, so let's see. You should be able to move it now. Yes. Now look here. I'll show you. Click the green arrow. You should do. Let's try to take a look at it. It's not moving. Do we not need to do? Wow. Oh, there we go. See, look. When you move the mouse back and forth, it moves the keys. Now you can move the mouse here, like this. Look. See, you move the mouse. See, I'm moving the mouse. Daddy's moving the mouse. Oh, okay, good. And the new tunnel. Yeah, you made a game. Look at that. <coughs> let's wow. play the game. Well, let's continue the tutorial. Let's play the game. Yeah. Let's really fast. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very fast. So let's finish the tutorial. Maybe it tells us how to adjust the speed. Of the paddle. Oh, yeah. it's, it's so much fun, isn't it? Uh, no, don't click. Just click here. Click the. Okay, there we go. Let's go back. Let's press next one. Arrow to find out how to hit the ball with the paddle. Add a score and more. All right, press play. We're in part two now. No, you want to go back to part two? There we go. Part two. Plus play. Now you want to go. Looks like we need to okay, choose uh, that to put whatever it is. Right here. Okay. Whatever you like. You want to under the water? And that's what you have. Cool. Alright, what's next? Look at all the code we have here. Uh, add the code to the ground scene. If you had the paddle. Yeah, but look, it says add code to bounce the ball off the paddle. So here, now we're gonna add the code to the bouncing of the ball. Right? I think this is. Now we gotta go forever. If, we have to add an if statement. So can we add an if statement? And what does it say there? Is there a way to expand that? Yeah, I need to delete it. So, no, start with the forever block. Sebastian, start with the forever block. I tell you, on end though. Yeah, but we. Oh, you, I did it! I know you did it. So, but let's go to the. What well, says your forever block? So, go to uh, control. Forever block. So, go to control. Put that in above. So, above it, we're going to do this one right here. It's more complex, but it's going to make it better. What's next? Move 10. And there it says, if on angle, bounce. I turn your mouse. What is it? That's it. So now, cool. Look at that. That's great. Are we going to add the ball so it bounces off the pound? Wait, we need to try. Green light. And then add the forever light. Okay, what's next? It looks like it's an if block. Add the if then. I don't think 
this is an if else block. It's just an if block. You can remove that one. Add the if block, not if else. This one right here. Then? Something called touching. Look for. Go to the green. No, uh, the, not the green stuff, but the. Magenta. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, you had it. Yeah, you go down one. This. Yeah, go here. Five, six. There you go. Right there. With five. Hold on, Sebastian. Bye -bye. Wait. Point 0.5. Zero. No, not five. Zero point five says half a second. So zero point five. Write zero and a dot and point five. Oh no, that goes below it says. Oh no, you're right. Okay, what's next? We need that. We need this guy right this? here. This? Yeah, but we need it right here. It's right there. Okay. No! Yeah, that's the one. You drag it, put it in the if section, and then we're going to change it to paddle. Trust me. Put it right here in the if. You want daddy's help? Your daddy's going to do it for you. There you go, you got it. Now click on the, the drop down and change it to paddle. Good. Now it, it says churn. So we need to find a churn that's under motion. Motion. And then it says churn. And uh, we want it the degrees, and we're going to change it to 180 degrees. I'll show you a trick, okay? You click on it and press the lead. That will work. Okay, next. No. Move 15 steps. The it. Yeah. No. Okay, and then go to move 15 steps. You're missing move 15 steps. You move 15 steps, right? You're missing a move, Sebi. Oh, it's a hundred. 80 degrees. Did it okay? That's nice. Then we're going to change my value by one. So that's called a variable. It's going to allow us to keep track of the score. Cool. Okay, good. I did it. Okay, so we're going to go here. I'm going to go. All right, oh, here we go. What? Oh, look, <laughs> look, it's going to bounce off it. Uh -huh, I'll show you. Look, you guys score one, Sophie. Okay? If you hit it, now you got it. Okay, 
as you like. Wow, that's great. Cool. So we're gonna reset. Okay, go to two. Okay, watch this. Watch this, Evie. Whoa, I hit it. Whoa. You see that? Uh oh, Daddy. What's my score? What's Daddy's score? Oh, I, I'm Daddy's up for this. Oh, this mouse is. Dad, do you see that? Oh wow, what nice score is for? You try. You have to make me the muscle easier. Like this, like this. Great, Sebastian. What's the next? Uh, what's next? We have to do. Okay, go here. It's the pop. The pop sound. Wow. What's the rest? Put the line at the bottom. And we need to move up the we need to move up the green line. So can we move up the green line too? Oh no no. Here, tell my daddy, show you what he meant. Okay. So we gotta go green. And we're gonna move green line up right here. And then we're gonna go red line. It has to be low because it's gonna be game, it's gonna be for game over when go for it. Perfect. Now let's add the block of code. And what does it start with? Green play. Green play. And after that, uh, loop forever. Forever. Yeah. So that's a for loop. Okay. And then we need an if statement. Then. If then. Yeah, if then. Same. That's right. That's great. Where's that? Under which operation? Sensing. So we're gonna do. Oh, here we go. We get this one right here. Oh yeah. I did it. Yeah. And then we're we, we, we're missing one. So we need that top part. It says touching. It's right here. And then we're gonna change it to and don't forget to it has to go in the in the no in the if statement. Okay now now drag in. There you go. Oh, there you go. And now watch this. What? Now let's press the green button. Oh, it stopped because it hit the red line. So there's our game. So let's go again. We're gonna click, mm -hmm. ready? Mm -hmm. Let's stop. This stopped in the last one. So we're gonna, we need to make sure we hit, uh-oh, we lost. Mm -hmm. So we need it to make sure. It stopped on the last one. Yeah, that means stop. So let's try this again, okay? Okay. I don't want the ball. Okay, let's make a move. Uh oh. Well, we, the mouse is too fast, but good job, Sebastian.